Art can be whatever you make of it, from drawing a picture to a wood carving or even a painting. But what if your art was created by mowing the grass? Our own Corey Cuffler introduces us to a local groundskeeper whose fields are cut above the rest. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. But Northeast groundskeeper Sean Eberhardt would say otherwise. Once I got a good quality product, um, I wanted to give our district the wow factor. Sean took an interest in grass fields at an early age. The first time I ever watched a baseball game, the stripes stuck out to me. Um, and that kind of fascinated me, but I didn't know how they did it. And that is what sowed his love to become a groundskeeper. I loved mowing grass. I loved um, the designs that you can put in grass. Combine the two and here I am. A 2009 Northeast grad, Sean had no intentions of ever coming back to his alma mater. When I uh, left here, the goal was Major League Baseball, um, MLB ballpark, NFL. Um, did a few internships with the Red Sox and Twins and just uh, realized that uh, that wasn't the right choice for me. So he found his way back to his field of dreams. We were building the baseball field in 2014, and so the process was really slow as far as getting the fields to where I wanted them. But administration has been very patient. Ten plus years ago, the district made a commitment to, to upgrade their facilities, and part of that upgrade was a building addition, but also then our competitive fields. And that allowed us to have a full-time position, a grounds manager. From sun up to sundown, you can find Sean on his mower. I spend 26 hours a week mowing. Sean does a really good job. He does a good job with all the fields. Turning the athletic fields at Northeast into a work of art. In high school, the art teacher asked the basic question of what is art, and my answer was lawn stripes. And his color palette comes in three different shades of green. So your light stripes are uh, grass blades bent away from you. Your dark stripes are one bent towards you. Combine the two, you can get a shade of um, both. Sean has done many designs on the football field from the very basic stripes and diagonals to a more elaborate American flag. There was 13 stripes. Each stripe was the same width. Um, I wanted to have six stripes below the box of stars, seven up top. Wanted to have approximately 50, I call them stars, but they're diamonds. Um, so that one just took a lot of math. That's probably the best um, product that I've seen on a, on a turf. His designs have given him and Northeast plenty of notoriety. Whether it's our, our parents of our players, um, community members that come and support, or even our opponents, um, they, they speak highly of the product. And a very worthy title. But if they want to call me the Sodfather Goose Lake, I'll, uh, I'll go with that. With established fields and plenty of opportunity. The motto I live by um, and also my staff that I get in the summertime is we try to make campus better today than it was yesterday and hopefully better tomorrow than it is today. In Goose Lake, Corey Coupler, WQAD News 8 Sports. Is this inspiring you for the next time you cut your grass? Yeah, I could <laughs> never accomplish that, and I just wonder what he's like cooking up next. Oh, hats off. The American flag that was is beautiful. incredible. Yeah.